A Coeur d'Alene boy recovering from cancer is now trying to help other kids fighting the same disease. Tomorrow morning, Logan Dunbar and his family will raise money for cancer research selling good old-fashioned lemonade. KXY 4's North Idaho reporter Annie Bishop explains how you can help. At just six years old, Logan Dunbar is a brave boy on his bike. Watch this. On a skateboard and in the toughest battle of his life. I have cancer. Um, my mom, when I was three years old and I was a baby, had like a bunch of red dots in my eyes and my mom said I, had, I was sick, so she took me to the hospital and they said I had cancer. The rarest form of cancer, doctors gave him a 50% chance to survive. Well, it was devastating. I. I don't think I just, I actually collapsed when I first found out. Logan spent the next three months in the hospital. That's when I, my mom took a picture of me when I was sleeping. Chemotherapy was tough. It was gross. Through it all, not once did he complain. Logan was always smiling. He, he always smiled. He was positive. He was strong. He kept us strong. And now Logan wants to make sure other kids with cancer can stay strong, too. Tomorrow he will sell lemonade, raising money for Alex's Lemonade Stand, a national foundation for childhood cancer. So people um, don't get cancer that much, and my friends don't die from cancer. And that when people have cancer, they can walk, in the right, walk back out. Logan's dad built the entire lemonade stand himself. All the supplies right down to the bright yellow paint were donated. And it appears Logan's positive attitude is contagious. His dad writing, if you build it, they will come. So maybe, maybe we'll make a little bit of a difference to save some other children's lives. In North Idaho, he's a little angel. Annie Bishop, KXLY4 HD News. If you'd like to support Logan and his lemonade stand, you can do so by stopping by the Panhandle State Bank parking lot in Coeur d'Alene off Nider Avenue between 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. Logan is still in remission and won't be 100% cancer-free for at least two more years.